Ah ja. Okay, shall we get started? Uh, let's see. I assume people are hearing me? Yep, see you. Yeah, okay, good, thank you. I wasn't sure what state my headset was in. <clears throat> uh, okay, so usual rundown. Uh, Viewers in flight. So we just promoted a new maintenance viewer uh, yesterday or the day before, whatever it was, a couple of days ago. Um, and that is out and doing well. So that's 504. Uh, and then we last night updated the HTTP viewer to merge that in. Uh, it also got some additional logging to try to figure out um, why its crash rate was somewhat elevated. Um, and we may or may not get an update of the voice viewer. Uh, there is a, uh, a, a pretty seriously annoying bug um, in it where if you teleport while somebody's talking, you get this really loud, horrible screech in your headphones. So um, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't fix that before we update it. But it is otherwise ready for an update, and I think we've probably addressed the crash rate problem that it had. Um, and that's going to be an important set of changes to pick up, not only for the spiffy new voice, um, but because it fixes some bad bugs in. Uh, Certificate handling. Um, the 64-bit viewer project Alex Ivy uh, will probably get an update next week. It looks like we've got a few things queued up that are ready to go into QA. So, um, uh, dating myself. That's all. Uh, so, keep your fingers crossed with us. Uh, we're we're closing in on that one, and that will have uh, havoc on the Mac, uh, which has been one of the sticking points with that viewer. So that's nice. And um, then hopefully we'll get back to some work on the Project 360 snapshot viewer, but nothing has happened on that lately. So. Um, those are the those are the big the big developments in viewer land these days. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in the pipeline that we need to talk about yet. Nothing that's that close.
Yeah, there'll be a there'll be a viewer out sometime soon that has the corrected verified email handling in it. Uh, I don't think we've done anything about the volume for streaming media. Grumpity, did did we ever get that in the main queue? Maybe we should. Yeah, if there's, if there's no chair, it doesn't happen. Jira, there's a reason for it. It's a system and it does work. <laughs> There'd be any use in offering a patch to make virtual env work better with switching between current and future auto build. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of a patch that would be, but I'm happy to hear about it. Um, I use virtual env to switch between those all the time. So it works fine for me. But I'm, I'm always, you mean auto build always picks up the system Python. Oh, oh, it's. Okay. Uh, yeah, patches to CMake files, I can readily believe it. But make sure you're looking at the CMake files in Viewer 64, since that's where we care about that sort of change. But yeah, um, by all means. There are bunch of fixes I'd like to make to the CMake files, just haven't gotten to that yet. You guys are awfully quiet. Jessica's here only in gesture. Um, so, uh, we also have a viewer coming out that fixes the estate floater so that it has the right controls in it for um, the new estate ability to prevent ban lines. Um, and that'll be out soon. Be an easy one to merge, we hope. Yeah, um, hopefully uh, we'll have the first iteration out next week and um, we might have to have them back and forth to make sure that the behavior makes sense but soon uh, Willow obviously Whirly already told us all about it uh, and we were looking at it um, 
but it might take a little while to figure out why. No other topics today? Gosh, and we've been trying to do so much stuff and give you lots of things to talk about. Uh, there is something I'm thinking of, Oz. I just can't remember it right offhand. <laughs> I fully sympathize with that problem. Oh, um, it was the ban list for parcel bans and region ban list. Were you going to be, are you going to, is there any plan to increase the um, level of those? We're going to, we're certainly going to modify the UI so that it's easier to manipulate those lists. Uh, we haven't got a final design yet, but we're going to give you a window bigger than four lines to work in, if nothing else. Right. What I hope uh, is not going to be unreasonably complicated to do is to actually give you additional information, like when a user was banned and by whom. Um, but I still need to see whether that's hard to do. Um, It's not going to be part of the other UI change for estate controls because I want to get those out quickly. And I expect both of these things will uh, require a couple of iterations. Uh, trust us, it is not true that that is the exact number and that it hasn't changed.
Uh, Oz, have you done any more work with regards to um, being able to see moderators and groups, or do you have anything planned on that yet? Uh, no, we don't have anything planned on that yet. That's... Um, just hasn't gotten near the top of the list. Bug 100468. That's the stuck stats. I believe you. No, it's not the stuck stats. Four six eight is. Yeah, it is. Oh, that, um, I don't know. Well, Willow, you don't expect it to get bad, better in the next two hours of her evening, do you? All right. Um, I promise that we'll talk about it, Worley. I don't promise that we'll do anything about it right now. I'll give you a vague answer next time we talk. All right, um, for the record, and I think that kind of closes the meeting, uh, we have internal names for all the uh, maintenance fear releases, and the theme for the past six months or so has been alcoholic drinks. We've had... Oh, it's been longer than that, but yeah. Yeah, for a while there, we stuck to alcoholic drinks that start with S, but at some point we had to expand. They started getting pretty obscure. There were Georgian wines. (laughs) 
Thanks for coming all. Sorry we couldn't do anything more controversial today. Thank you, Oz. See you soon.